Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and I hope you are having a great day, but thanks for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the new American state as we are finishing off the Mormons and having a great time with the Buckeye people of Ohio. So let's finish these guys off, finish off the West Coast, and begin finishing off the East Coast as well, as well as uh, the Mexicans down here, and eventually annex New Vegas. Glorious. Uh, if you could take that tile, what would happen? Will they capitulate again? I think they already did capitulate. Ooh, Destroyer 1. So this is a barge, which is just a battleship, I think. As you can tell, it's probably quite a bit laggy, but that's alright. That's okay. New Canaan will be ours. Who do we... So we're at war with the common term. And the USSR, of course. Um, just... We're gonna destroy any sort of commie family around here. Uh, new... The Mormon Alliance has lost about 37,000 manpower. King of Simon City. We're not trying to advance into Ohio yet. It's just going to take some more time, which is fine. So, let's see. Nice. We're doing very well against the Tar Walkers down here. Great stuff. Against these guys up here, we're doing well. Against the Lone Trees, we're doing well. Iris, or Iris, is taking a while just because it's pretty normal. Uh, they have a division down here, but I have no division even closely around here. Oh, you guys need to move. There you go, my friends. Have a great day. Yep. I mean, we're going to take a lot of casualties, but once this is all done and over with, the Mormon faith might just be wiped out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what's the manpower of Simon City? Tarwalkers have capitulated about a half of a thousand, five hundred or so. Very good, my friends. The Buckeyes have no idea what they're doing. And I love it. Alright guys, take these guys out. Put an end to the misery. And for you, just come up here. And they have died. Absolutely devastating. Where are you guys at? Hmm. For this, I'm going to send you guys up north. Take these guys out as well. They could use some help up here. Go and help push this way. The faster we can get rid of them, the better. At this point, we're still making three of these divisions. We can probably get this down to six. Really won't hurt us. We gotta take out New Hammond. Gotta take out a lot of different places. But once we capitulate New Canaan, the Mormon alliance will fall apart. And you guys, oh, there's a bug in my face in front of my screen. Who? All right, I got it. I hope. Hope I got it. But regardless, hope you're having a great day. Like I said. Uh, wartime draft. I think we're doing okay so far. Really not much else we can do. I want to take out more of the trash, but we're already at war with the trash. Well, at least the trash on the west coast. Or at least on the western side of the United States. I'd like to take out a lot of the east coast trash as well, if you know what I mean. And actually, yeah, the Chinese and the river people... Well, I guess the river people took out the enclave, so are we the last... No, the, we still have the capital enclave, which took out Delaware as well. Oh, they don't like us. President John Henry Eden? Don't tell me this is going to be like an enclave civil war. Oh, there's a Canadian branch as well. And they don't like us either under Colonel Anthony Powa. Yeah. They don't like us very much. Followers of Sinona, Highlanders of the North, the Quebec Warriors, Atta City. Oh, and they're attacking us again. Thank you. You have given up without even me taking your territory. I love it. So, the Mormons, they had a good run. They had a good run, but they just weren't able to reproduce enough to take all these guys out. Oh, actually, um, let's do this first. Should have made more babies. You had quite a while to make enough babies to have more population, probably, honestly. Just go ahead and take all states. You will forcibly become part of our nation. There will be no if and or buts. Please don't crash the game. Please don't crash the game. I'm still operating on a single save. Actually, I'm not even sa I haven't saved my game in the past couple of days. So, that was great. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. Um the West Coast is looking flipping amazing. So, I'm going to send my power armor to all the way over here now. So, come on over here, guys. We're going to have a great time with everyone over here. Just deploy anybody that we need over here as well. 
Unassigned Division, six more. Great. All right, my friends. We're going to slowly take all these guys out. New Hammond will be next on our list. It takes ten days. Holy crap. Only ten days to get rid of them. But we have the Mormon faith. We wept when we remembered Zion. We may have liberated the people of Utah, but its inhabitants don't seem to act like it. Many associate us with the Enclave purists who aided Kaisar, and before the Great War, the United States government cracked down on the Mormonism due to their opposition to, uh, security protocols. To Mormonize, we are occupying a people who have been free since the Great War. As such, new Canaanite guerrillas kill our brave men and women, fanatics who quote the words of Joshua Graham, and swear to carry the fire of the Holy Spirit until they stand before the Lord in judgment. Although we promise that the First Amendment protects the Mormon faith, we don't believe in free speech. We have to do something to hold on to this troubled land. Autonomy? No. They shall, be they shall tire before we do. The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem said, Raise it even to its foundation. Waging a war against good people is bad for the soul. Well, I'm going to treat them the way, same way I did the people of Greater Day Glow and Stockton and Shady Sands. The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem said, Raise it even to the foundation. You will bend the knee, or I will get rid of your knees. Cool. Wow, we have so many factories. And actually, this is eating into my electricity. Maybe this is not a good idea. Power armor it is. Um, oh, I guess, no, the Xeon fighters is the ones we actually want to use. Sure, more gunships sounds like fun. Now we need, okay, so that actually ate up a bunch of our electricity. Now we actually have some more we can actually use. Destroy Mark 1s, Paddle Seam Mark 2s, Mark 1s, 2s, whatever. Cool. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome, 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 awesome stuff. So, in the East Coast, we arrive with our power armor, ready to defeat anyone who opposes us. Honestly, if we're at war with the USSR, we probably want to take them out quickly. I do want to take out Casey Family. Um, there's really no way I can attack the Allegheny... Algany Plateau or the Mingo Creek lighting up the night nice let's do every man a car yeah I'm probably gonna take the cast family the fall of New Canaan New Canaan the heart of the Mormon faith has fallen to the legion you mean fallen to the new American state Kaiser Legion has crucified several of their leaders in a vicious mockery of their faith and its inhabitants now face an uncertain future under Kaiser's Legion Utah now joins Arizona and New Mexico under the red banner with NCR in disarray after Enclave's conquest and New Canaan in ashes there's no one to stop the Legion from subduing peaceful settlements on its fringes unless the Republic of the Rio Grande wants to help please don't have them spawn up where I already took them out that would be mean but nice very good. We've done a great job, guys. We've done a fantastic job so far. More infantry, just throw them out of here. Mm, what am I thinking? You guys come over here. I'll take out these guys pretty easily. You guys come over here. You guys should take these guys, these guys out fairly easily. I already put my ships over here, so everyone is already repaired. Paradise Valley, great. Lower the speed just by a little bit. We are going to patrol the area around Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and Glowing Lake. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we can really get to right now. That I really care to get to. And maybe we'll do that over here too. Nice. These other ships, not I'm not too concerned about them. We got a lot of battleships still, so. Very good. Alright, are we ready to take out New Hammond? Pretty much. And then I might just convert this army to nothing but power armor. Which sounds like a lot of fun. But before I do that, I need to take out the Institute with my infantry. That'll be good. Let's get ready to go to war with Delta. 15 days this time. That's fine with me. Because taking these guys out shouldn't last too long. Oh, they joined the common turn. I gotta kill off the common turn. Not bad so far. Salvage transport. Cargo Zeppelin, even though we already have our own transports. Um, I really want to do Crimson Trucking Company, but I need to do every man a car first, obviously. 
I think I'll probably click on this. Can I go to war with these guys? Ronto next. 40 days, not bad. That ain't bad whatsoever. Go when you can. You guys are doing fine. You guys make your way over here as well. It's going to take a long time for you to get over there, so you might as well start moving that direction. And how is Vegas doing? Maybe we need to send him some more exports. Would you like power armor? Or would you like advanced anti-tank launchers? I think they'll take that. Beautiful. So many losses. 4,000, they're about to capitulate. Just take the capital, we'll have them. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As my phone buzzes, because I get a few more emails. Ooh, less supply use? Heck yeah, boy. Alright. Now, I can't do this most normally. Um... But that's okay. Let's do it like this then. The more annoying way to do this. Give me five right there. Give me another five ish down there. Give me another five ish. Oh, definitely not five over there. Give me five down here. How many more divisions do I got? Quite a few, that's good. Go need them up here. And then that. The Delta's pretty large, but they got nothing on us. They got nothing on us. And we go to war oh we go to war Delta immediately. Well, hold on. Hold on to your horses. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, Michigan. Also known as Seychelles. Go figure. Oronto. Hmm, some divisions. Not a lot. Not a lot of manpower either. It's Canada. They probably don't have a ton of divisions up here. I'm going to combine these fellas. Oh, level 2 destroyer, which is, a, which is a better barge. Let's use seaplane destroyer next. Better barge. Come to up here. Thank you. Very good. Does the USSR have a navy? New Moscow, wow. They got four ships. Yeah, they, they couldn't really do very much with their focus too, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Interesting, how much manpower do they have? So they got some manpower, some divisions, not bad. They don't like alcohol. And they like to kill aboriginals. Alright, well. Communists are going to do what communists do. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. End them. And they joined the common turn. Typical. Every man a car. Oh, actually. Before I do that. Let me see you guys. Oh, you guys just go ahead. Oh, so although thousands of cars are still used in some 200 years after the Great War, a few have, and if any, been built. This changes with the decision to build a factory outside Reno to build the Chrysler's Highwayman. The Highwayman, rugged enough to drive off-road throughout the wastes, is powered by whatever fuel cells are lying around, represents America's can-do spirit. Economists estimate that within 20 years, one out of every 40 Americans will own a car, and we get two civilian workshops because of that amazing absolutely amazing um, let's do Starlight Express for even more infrastructure and now we can do this Crimson Trucking Company and then we can help small businesses or something nothing down there still very nice Frisco City All right, and very soon we should be able to take Toronto. Basic generator, very nice. Let's get the next level going anyways. 
We have built a lot of stuff in all the territory we've already taken. Oh my goodness. Flagstaff, yes please. And all the very small areas down here near New Vegas, or just, I guess, now called Vegas. Very good. In the lands we just taken, around former she lands, San Francisco, Sacramento, LA, San Diego, and parts of Mexico. Very nice. That should definitely help us with our deficit of electricity. Oh, we're out of advanced technology as well. Ah, uh, This war, not as going as well as I hoped it would, but that's alright. Just because these guys refuse to move. That's the only reason why. That'll be good. They'll be taken out before you know it. War goals, come on, I want to go to war with Ranto, please. Please. They're actually already at war with someone else. But we got four days. We have 1,700 factories. This is so many factories. Ruins of Buffalo. Oh, wait, are they? Oh, they're at war with the Ruins of Buffalo, huh? And this will put us at war with the USSR. Let's go ahead and go to war. Wait, did they... The Ronto people joined the USSR? Yeah, they did join the Comintern. Interesting. And that's alright. Do these guys have any sort of ships? They have one ship. They've had this entire time to build more ships. I'm okay. I don't need that, guys. Nice. There goes Delta. Those weirdos are gone forever. Nice. So I'm going to send you guys down here. I'm going to do, make a big mistake, a big no-no, and we're going to do that. We got a lot, a lot of uh, infrastructure down here. That's great. Give me some planes, air bases. Vault 81 joined Comintern. Um, okay then. Over here in Ohio, we definitely going to need that. Maybe a little bit of this as well. Awesome. Do you want to go to war with the KC? Oh, they're, they're fighting a lot of people. Oh, it's because they joined the common turn. Ten days left. Yeah, if you throw in the USSR divisions, they're not going to be able to compete. Yeah. Oma City. Look at this. This is so beautiful. How oh, close. Oh, we just need more political power. And then Vegas will be ours. And then we can focus almost completely on the East Coast. Um, yeah, keep going, guys. He's a level 8 general. Jesus. That's awesome. These guys are all training. I think it's time we made a little other call. Nice. How many ships do these people have? None. Wait. Oh crap! I declared war. I didn't. I don't even have my soldiers over here. Well, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Mistakes were made. Oh well. That just makes it a little bit more interesting. Whatever. I made a mistake. I thought my guys were already over here because they're taking, but they're taking forever to get across. Um, if anything, just make sure that we do this. If they take all this, it really doesn't affect us. Just form a fallback line. You got enough supplies anyways. Let them think that they're going to be doing well. But Jesus Christ, guys, you are taking way too long. I know the infrastructure is bad. But you need to get East Interstate 70. It's so much better. Trust me. But once Ronto's done in the USSR, I mean, I'll pull those guys off from the top. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to pierce us, so. Um, make your way over here, guys. Uh, I'm get I did this just to make these guys feel better about taking out the Buckeyes. So they, sh they should feel okay about it. Oh. Go ahead and retreat. No worries, guys. No worries.
There you go. Um, just go ahead and retreat, guys. No problems. Oh, well, then that might turn into a problem. But go ahead and throw some other power armor down here. One division is holding out against six enemy divisions. Starlight Express, very good. Anything on the right side we didn't finish off yet? No, we haven't finished off reviving the Air Force. I guess we'll do that. Don't really need it. Mm, they are attacking like crazy. Come on, make your way over here faster. Come on, you can almost get there in time. We made it. We made it. Beautiful. Oh, we actually lost that tile. That sucks. But this is a neat, this is a, a method of taking out some of the manpower of the Casey family. Awesome. And now we're fighting the USSR. Let's go ahead and reorganize this. I could use those eight divisions up here too. Okay, come on. I know the game is lagging very hard, but come on, guys. Come on. Come on. The, let's get a little bit more planning speed in here first. Um, yeah, come on. Make your way over here. How many men have the Casey family lost? About a thousand. We've lost about a thousand as well, but that incorporates a lot of other nations as well. Gente de Sol. Let's kick it off with these guys. And they're attacking us like crazy. See, plane destroy one. Now let's do that. Black design modules, huh? Anti air, dual purpose. Nothing on that. Nothing on that. Anti air, nothing here. Dual purpose. And I can't do this because I lack the modules, because the game doesn't have the modules unlocked. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But alright, we'll roll with it. How many divisions do these Mexican nations have? Quite a bit of manpower. A lot of divisions, holy crap. Las Granjas. That's a lot of manpower, but not a lot of divisions. Interesting. Well, we should be fine over there. Oh, we got split off, which is fine. Things happen. But it does make for a good encirclement by doing this. Throw in the other power armor division. Yeah, you want to throw in 18 divisions here? You still can't beat the power armor. Oh, would you look at that. What a shame. What a shame. Oh, they're still trying to beat us up down here. Oh, my goodness. Don't try to escape my wrath. That's not going to work out for you well in the end. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Awesome. Have our, most of our divisions made it? No, they haven't. Power armor guys, you're just so slow. What's the speed on these guys? Um, I'd recommend coming down here, maybe. They could really use the extra help. The speed is one or seven kilometers per hour. Go on and keep kicking these guys' butts. No wonder the infrastructure's bad up here. Ah, oh, actually, that one's okay. That one is okay. Not bad though, it just takes time to get down there. And how's this going? Did they actually, they actually push us back a little bit? Interesting. Genta de Sol has taken 20,000, probably 21,000 casualties. No, thank you, Vegas. I think we'll be okay. 105 more political power. I gotta remind myself to not use any political power. Oh, they are really trying to attack us like crazy. How much manpower do they have left? None. Oh, they're on scraping the bro. No wonder they have so much manpower. Makes sense. Makes sense. And we've beaten these guys back quite a bit. Love it. We have revived the Air Force. Let's go and do the Department of the Navy. Med X auto injectors. Yes. Supply use goes down, and we get some more reinforced rate. Cool. And they're attacking us once again. Up here in the north, we're doing fine. Just fine. Cargo zeppelins. Let's get some P-80 nuclears that we don't even need. This is absolutely brutal down here. Any upgrades, though? Any upgrades? 
Yes. Camidus Archer. Quite the infantry expert. Yeah, they have definitely gotten rid of a lot of their own manpower. Beautiful. And he's injured. You guys can probably stop training now. And there goes Ronto. Nice. And it sounds like my cat Binky is outside my door and he wants to come on in. But if I do that, then he'll then he won't want to come in. Cats are weird. Awesome. Vanishing these guys up. Taking out the goddamn commies, and we will border the Enclave in the north. This is gonna be awkward. They might like us, they might not like us. I don't think they like us though, because they're Canadian. And they're, the par they're part of the Enclave. And they're elites. We're just rulers. We don't even support the elites that much. Oh god, these guys have pretty much made it up here. Nice. Alright, guys. Well, when in doubt, in Ohio, just tell them to go commit neck rope. There you go. Out of manpower. Scrape in the barrel, these Buckeyes are going to learn a lesson that you don't mess with the Enclave no matter how weak they may look. Just because you can't see divisions doesn't mean they can't just poop out more divisions. Oh, new Moscow is going to be taken. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. 38,000 dead commies. Nothing better than 38,000 dead commies. Good lord, that's great. And a sea plane steamer. Oh, can we actually put stuff on there now? Maybe we can. Hold up. You can deploy units. Oh, good God, this lag is bad. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, let's take a, take a quick look. Alright. Oh, we can actually have hangar space. Nice, finally. I'll get a little bit of deck armor. Hangar space. Hangar space. Anti-air. Of course, no radar. A little bit faster carrier. Awesome. We can actually have a carrier now. Don't think I'll ever use it. But we can have a carrier now. Deploying the Detroit Harbor. Oh, you guys need to do that. Very good. Let's let time go on. I think I think we're pretty much taken care of here. Very, very good, my friends. Farmer of the Navy is done. I will get to that just in a moment. Liberty ships. Even though we have already researched all those Liberty ships already. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff down there. Casey family's done. Taken out. Awesome. Awesome stuff, guys. Um, You know what? Just get rid of these three divisions. It's fine. Throw you under here. For you guys. What if we did this? What is this? They have a lot of divisions over here. Shanley's Raiders. Interesting. 15 days. We got a lot of power armor coming this way. Uh, actually, it might take generations of people before they actually make it over here. The Druids actually might be more possible to take out. Let's do that. Where are you all at? You're all down here. Now we'll do something like that. We're going to go to war with those guys. And six more divisions to take out somebody. Somebody. Somewhere. So with that, my guys, thank you very much for watching. We have almost completely finished up. Uh, the east, the west coast. Yes, I'm taking my sweet ass time with it. Um, but next episode, we will finish this side up. And we have just capitulated the USSR. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to do the peace conference right now. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, 
and I will see you tomorrow as I'm very tired right now, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.